Welcome to iHeart Realty. Hi, you guys. Today we will be talking about HOAs. Uh, for those of you who do not know what that means, Janelle, can you give us a little definition? Sure. HOA stands for Homeowners Association. So this is an organization that belongs to many communities that when you're a part of it, you usually have to pay dues. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the pros and cons because a lot of those dues cover some of the things we're gonna talk about today. That's right. So sometimes um, when you get involved with purchasing a home and it has an HOA, right. sometimes you have to pay um, fees, mm -hmm. right? And they Quarterly, can be monthly. minimal, they can be um, outrageous, we've seen those. <laughs> uh, but let's get into the pros and cons about that. Sounds good. So the first pro would be uh, beautification of the community, uh, consistency within the homes. Um, I think I love that part of the HOA. Um, I do too. It is yeah, nice. Yeah, it's very nice. You, you you drive in and you're like, well, this is a great neighborhood um, because the pros are upkeeping of the neighborhood. The second pro is enforcing the neighborhood standards. So this includes the paint color of your home, when you're getting a new roof, getting that approved, but making sure the roof is consistent to the colors that the community has already approved. Uh, this even has to do with enforcing pressure cleaning, making sure that there are no commercial um, commercial vehicles, vehicles on the property yeah. or parked in the garage or parked outside or anything and sometimes even boats so sometimes boats aren't allowed in communities and again right. it's also that it can give the aesthetic um, consistency across the board with all the homes pro number three would be community events now not all communities do this but some do which is great um, it brings the neighbors together you get to know um, one another um, you know sometimes for like the holidays they'll have parties they'll have you know potlucks mm -hmm. things like that just really to get to know your neighbors which is great I think sometimes we lose um, nowadays we lose that effect of community feeling mm -hmm. um, but these associations they I think they like to draw that back so now look for the three cons the first con is that this lovely HOA can foreclose on your home especially if you're delinquent on your payments and they can put liens on your property so if you're not obeying uh, the rules that they have set before you, they can make sure that they enforce it through fines and additional limitations. Con number two would be increase of your fees. Uh, sometimes you'll see a small jump or maybe you'll see a big jump. It's all depending on your HOA. Now, as well with the HOA fees, you do have special assessments sometimes. So for instance, if they did a budget for a certain thing like right. a repair of a pool or new roads, um, light posts, whatever it may be, and they didn't fund for those, they'll add on a special assessment where you have to pay now an extra fee and it could be monthly, quarterly, annually, it just depends on the HOA. And make sure you read through your covenants, which is usually that big PDF <laughs> form that you get um, either by physical copy or online. Make sure you guys are getting that and reading through that yeah. because there is a limited amount of percentage that they can increase year after year. So, and sometimes they don't increase at all and sometimes they do increase it significantly. It's yeah, and so before it. buying a home, you'll know mm -hmm. the um, HOA can tell you if there will be future uh, special assessments coming up. Yeah. So it's just something that to take into consideration. Now the third con is the rules. So while there may be good positives that go with the rules that they have, there's a lot of other limitations that this can happen. So if you're looking to rent out your home, there may be limitations where they may say, nope, we're already at capacity for how many renters are already in this community, which is a good thing. You don't want a community full of renters, but at the same time, if you were looking to turn it into an investment property, that's a con for you at this right. point. The other thing is I love going and looking at the holiday lights. We even did uh, a blog post on that where you can check it out on our website, but they're lim they limit sometimes how much Christmas decor or Christmas cheer you put on your house to make sure that it follows their guidelines. Um, so there's a lot of different things. If you're upgrading or updating your house, not only are you putting pulling city permits, you have to make sure that the HOA approves the upgrades that you're doing because you may get the city to approve it. If your HOA doesn't, you have to take it down. Yeah, so, an example of that would be uh, the type of fence. Maybe you want to put yeah. a wood fence, but they don't right. allow white fencing. Or the size of a pool. Right. Maybe you want a huge pool, and they're like, no, you know, you got to keep it to a, a certain size right. limit. So, yeah. And the pool coverings, the screen enclosures. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different yeah. things that, that can definitely deter you as far as upgrades on an HOA because of the rules. Did, Did you know, know that there are over 2 million HOAs in the state of Florida, not including condo associations? That's a lot. And it's only growing. Yeah. There was 1.7 million last year. Wow. So, so you're bound to end up in one. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you should know the pros and cons. So we hope you enjoyed this segment of I, I Heart, Heart Realty. Realty.